Okay. Hi, this is awesome. Okay. What did it just do? Oh, it's showing these random other messages that I sent. My mom was trying to pretend that Danica's divorced, but that's not true. I told her that, um, I said, ha ha, Sammy. <clears throat> that was a typo. A lawyer told me that, a really good lawyer told me that the divorce decree that Danica and I signed, since it was written in our own made up words for how we wanted the divorce to be, he said that it's not even a legal document and, and it's, it's not, it doesn't mean anything the way we wrote it, so we're not divorced. So that means Danica and I are still married. I just got to get her and the kids back at the house and more and Jesus and God and Jesus. And here's what I told them. I posted this to my channel and want all of you to know it's about you. Okay, I found out why I am a quote unquote wealthy elite and from Italian royalty. It's because I descended from God as we all descended from God or, you know, our genealogy goes back to God, but literally he created us and then our soul started to become a physical body in a woman's womb, but God created us. So God is the almighty, most royal, powerful, good, beautiful one to have ever lived and will live forever and we'll live forever in heaven with him. And so if we're children of God, then that means that we're from royalty. And God let me know I was a wealthy elite. <clears throat> and that means that I'll inherit all the wealth in the kingdom of heaven. And then I thought about this and I got a little bit sad that I thought I didn't have much earthly things, but I didn't even care. I was overwhelmed with tears of joy and sadness that I cried out loud and couldn't believe that I had been accepted to the kingdom of heaven So what I thought it meant when God let me know that I was a wealthy elite. Somehow he got that idea to me more than once that I'm a wealthy elite, meaning that I've, I've attained, you know, I've, I've received the love of God and will inherit the kingdom of heaven because of the suffering I did on earth, because of the God's work I did on earth, stuff like that. So it didn't even matter if I had any money or not on earth because that meant that I will make it to heaven. Before, I thought it meant that I was rich or something like that. I couldn't understand why. And then now I found out it's because I was a wealthy, because I'm a wealthy elite. And I cried and it was um, a miracle. It was a miracle. And then I felt a little bit bad because I was like, oh, crap. I'm, am I going to have to be homeless or what am I going to do? And I didn't know how I'd ever make it because... I thought I didn't have that much stuff or money. And then um, I fell asleep for a little while. And then check out these pictures that my mom sent. Oh, wait. This is really good. My son Rowan sent these funny <laughs> He made that on TikTok. <laughs> they said, ha ha ha. That is me if I keep staying at home and I'm afraid to go to Texas. The guy who's like kind of old but in shape. <laughs> Virginia, ha ha ha, in Virginia. And I laughed and thought it was funny. And they said, That's you with a cute little creature monkey face. <laughs> oh, it had sound.
I didn't know it had sound. <clears throat> and I said, want to go to New York with me this summer? Rowan, we can stay at Noinies if Mama says it's okay. I'd like you to go easy on caffeine if possible or quit maybe. If Norna says it's okay, we can stay at Norny's house. And um, my mom and dad own a condo in Staten Island right across from Manhattan. And uh, it's where my grandmother Norny used to live. And um, she died, so they got her house. And um, my mom said, sounds like a great idea. Norny's house is just sitting there empty. What a waste. So I might actually go to New York with my son Rowan and maybe Al too because he knows his way around New York and knows all these people in New York Al Bob so that may be really fun and I said I'd rather go to uh, Myrtle Beach South Carolina that was one of my favorites Myrtle Beach South Carolina when I was a little kid that's when they had all the fluorescent and hot pink colors and stuff like in the 80s And then I said, <clears throat> hopefully my son is reading this. And he said he hasn't, in ca ha he's, hasn't had caffeine in two years. And I said, that's a miracle. We may be allergic to caffeine. <clears throat> and I quit caffeine too. It's a miracle. I quit it yesterday. And I've been eating less food. It's a miracle. <clears throat> and... This is a miracle that God gave me to. Oh, wait. Where are the pictures? Oh, check this out. Well, here's my niece, Maya. She's a baby. She's like 10 years old or 12. <laughs> and here's my sister, Krista. Look how athletic. This is a real picture of my sister Krista. She looks young. She got athletic. Her and her husband got athletic. That's a Oops, I don't want to say anything. You know, I don't want to look at her too long because she's my sister. But that's a miracle. She got in really good shape. And I was so happy for them. And I thought how good lives they have. And, um... Thought how good lives they have. And then I watch this video and listen to what my mom says. I guess Maya's ahead of them. She said that it looks like Maya's way ahead of like Taza and us. And and I thought she was talking about me and Taza, meaning that I had sent them this text after I got a little discouraged and I said I said, I was so stupid, I was selfish, and I kept saying all this mean stuff because I was selfish about myself. And I said, I was locked away for seven years while everyone else had a good time. I failed at everything, would rather not talk about it, no idea how to get back my wife and kids. I feel like I failed, and I hardly had any money or stuff like that. And then, so she thought that Maya was ahead of me and Taza or something. But Taza, Taza owns her own house, so I don't know. And, uh, and anyway, so God let me know that I had to let them all know that I'm not a total failure or something like that. Cause they would have thought, oh, he must be poor or something. They didn't know. So here's what I told them. I said, I feel better now. This is a miracle. I didn't fail. I said, dad and mom, you should get a cyber truck. And I said, and that was a miracle that they got a cyber truck and, and they finally spent money on cars instead of having like older cars that that were not that expensive they're kind of reliable and stuff they just don't have very expensive cars and I said okay well I guess I did okay my stuff in the house alone is worth a hundred thousand dollars and it, actually it may be worth two hundred thousand dollars I have so much stuff since I was a kid and I invested in comic books. And I said, I looked up the value of my comics. And they're worth $30,000. I have all these like, 
number one comics and other ones that are signed by like Todd McFarlane, one worth $8,000 first appearance ever of Wolverine and all this stuff that are worth $30,000. And I also have a drum set that may be worth $30,000. It was the best 10 piece pearl drum set they made in 1986. It was the top of the line Birch pearl drum set and it has 10 top of the line Zildjian cymbals and it has all the cases for it for going on tour for a huge band and it may be worth 30,000 and I have like a Marshall vintage 1977 Marshall app Marshall cabinet thing that may be worth $8,000 or 6,000 and uh I have all this other stuff in the entire closet filled up with stuff not to mention 5,000 or more of camera equipment, maybe 10,000, uh, 5,000. <coughs> and I said, just so I don't feel like way poor or failure, and I'm collecting a passive income of 5,200 a month until June of 2025, and I own 75% in my house after $170,000, and I have the option to buy it back from dad this year. Even though it's technically in his name, I own 75% of it after $170,000. So if I want to, I can try to buy it. I can buy it back. I can probably buy it back this year. So I may even have like a really good net worth because my house may be worth a bunch of money. And I can do stuff like update the cabinets and stuff like that and make it more of an investment. So it might be worth $1.2 million one day. <clears throat> so I actually have a bunch of money. And this was the miracle. I thought I was poor. I didn't know if I'd be on the streets or what. But I had Jesus and I thought I had inherited the kingdom of heaven. And I cried and cried that I got to inherit the kingdom of heaven. I was so overjoyed and thought I had no money or not much money. And then I thought about it and I wrote all this stuff down. And I realized I have all this stuff. And this miracle, God gave me this miracle that I have a bunch of money too i may be the most successful person around our age me and danica's age and also danica earns money on youtube and our our family like our mother and father on both sides are like really wealthy i think or pretty wealthy not really really wealthy but they're they have a bunch of money so they help us here and there so with their help and the money we're earning from when I worked on houses, I'm getting 5200 a month and Danica earns money on YouTube. She she got 14 million views last year, uh, last uh, month. Uh, no, she made more than that last year. And so uh, she makes about what I make on YouTube. So we, we both make together more than $100,000 a year. And then our mom and dad help us and since we have to live in two houses it's more expensive and there are five of us to to support so we we make about $195,000 a year so I think as a family in our 40s we're the most successful ones of anyone I know I think and I didn't even know that just moments before I thought I was poor but I cried and did God's work and for Jesus and everything and then when I started thinking about it I realized how much money I had too and that was a gift from God because it was so beautiful from Jesus that he said that I had earthly things too and then I said to make sure I get my house back because it's a special house and I don't want to live anywhere else on earth besides this house uh, but there are other places that are cooler and better or whatever, but I just like it here and I, I couldn't imagine having to leave. And so I said, I either have to go huge on YouTube to be able to buy back my house or find some way to buy it back on paper, maybe get some random job, but I don't know if it'll make enough money or talk to dad and see how I'm going to work to, um, buy back my house or what I'm going to have to do. Um, and so I'm trying to get more views on YouTube. I said last month I had 10,000 views a month. This this month it went up to 30,000 views a month. So if I get as many as 20 million views a month, then I can I can really uh make enough money to keep my house and move Danica and the kids back here and they won't have to get help from their mom and dad by staying in Texas or something like that or or 
or even with or without that, I can get Danica and the kids. I can get Danica and the kids somehow by a miracle if she just wants to be with me again. We don't need any more money than we already have, I guess. Even though sometimes it feels like we're barely getting by. I don't know why. I guess it's because it's five of us and it's kind of expensive. But then it's so weird. Al Bob gets by on $12,000 a month. I don't know how he makes it. He's living in poverty. I hope we'll be okay. And so I did God's work. I, I thought maybe I'd be pouring on the streets. and was a little sad about it. But instead of being selfish, I was grateful that I thought I inherited the kingdom of heaven. And that's what God meant by I'm a wealthy elite and all this good stuff. And then by some miracle, he reinstated the earthly things that I have, like uh, money. And enough money to um, know that I have enough money. So it was a miracle and I make it to, uh, hopefully I can keep this house or I'm going to just keep living in it. I can't imagine. Because before I thought my dad was going to like move in people or something. I was so worried. And so all I have to do is get a job. But see, God told me not to get a job. I don't know why. Or I'd get a job editing or something like that that pays enough money. Or uh, writing screenplays for people on Fiverr.com. I can write them really well and fast. Original screenplays for people. Or original books for them like a ghostwriter. I can maybe make about $300,000 a year. Because I can write really well and I type really fast. So I could do ghost writing and they get the credit for writing the book or something. But that would be like a bunch of hard work. But I could do it for maybe like a year and make a bunch of money. It's just sad because I put all the effort into my films and videos and God. Really just God. It's too selfish in my films and videos. But I have so much now it feels like I'm like really like, wow, I have a bunch of stuff. And I'm famous you know, I have a huge resume. I'm famous. 30,000 people watch my my movies. Got them on DVD or video on demand and stuff like that. And so I have a following with my movies. Uh, my kids have a billion views together. Uh, we have all this earthly stuff. It looks like on paper, but, you know, I'm not a millionaire, I think, unless I inherited $10 million from my dad and mom. Don't even know it. Who knows? I might have like millions of dollars for my mom and dad in a will. I don't know. Or I may have no money. But the sad thing is that I thought I had in- <laughs> I thought I inherited the kingdom of heaven. But if this looks like I'm a wealthy elite on paper, that's what God meant by wealthy elite, that I actually have money. <sighs> Crazy. I thought it was that I inherited the kingdom of heaven. But I don't know which one it is. But I've repented so much and been at unrest doing God's work and suffered and I thought for sure um, I'd make it right to heaven when I die. And I didn't give up. I didn't get depressed. and, And everyone's been okay and like everything feels okay right now. So it's a miracle. So you never know because earlier I thought I may be like out in the streets and then I wrote all this stuff down that like. I've achieved in stuff that I did. Like I have 162 million views. I am literally famous. God let me know I'm famous. But there are many people who are famous. I'm not like super famous. I'm not like a superstar. I'm a star, but I'm not a superstar. I'm actually also a star. It's amazing. So that's pretty good. But uh, a star may not always be a good thing. I just realized I couldn't, whether or not I want, I, I was going to, I liked or not, I had to be a star, but I'm not a huge star, and I'd like to be an A-list star, so I, I get to keep working at it one day, I'm going to show you what I look like in a video, if this thing is still recording, hi, I'm laying down in my bed, hi, I feel like I look pretty good. I feel good. I quit caffeine. I lost weight already in my face. I feel like really awesome. Hi. Well, I look a little better. It's a little messier in here, but I feel amazing. I feel pretty good. I have to pee right now. I wonder how much I weigh. It's disgusting. I shouldn't talk about that on camera. Whoa, crazy. It says still I weigh a bunch. 
I guess it's because I have to use the bathroom. It's the end of the day. It's nighttime. Ugh. Well, I'm going to go. Oh. Hey, this is awesome. Check out that view of Roanoke. I'm going to go. I got the thought I shouldn't come out here because I put these silver owls to scare away the um, woodpecker. And then it got really quiet. Like the birds started, the birds stopped making noise because they got scared away by the silver shiny woodpecker. And you can get them on Amazon.com for 15 bucks. <laughs> the silver shiny woodpecker. It looks really weird. And it scares the, I mean, it's not a woodpecker. It's an owl. A, a shiny owl and it has like balls hanging down and it scared away the woodpecker so he wouldn't be here and then um I think because the birds started leaving the owl wondered what those owls were and I think this huge owl was out here at night and when I and when I walked out there I got the feeling it could swoop over my head when I was on that balcony and so I was a little scared so I went inside because there's a huge family of owls that there's a family of huge owls that live in the neighborhood and so I feel pretty good this is me like talking oh I look like old shit old shit old shit oh and the other thing that I <laughs> no, 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 no. and the other thing I felt really good about was that after I was nice to my sister, Krista, I realized that my dad used to do aerobic exercise and my sister does aerobic exercise and she got athletic again. Like it looks like she's more athletic than I am. And um, then I got this thought of my dad like really like more athletic and younger than he'd ever been. And I knew it was real and it was on earth. And I was like, yes. And everything felt okay and everything was good. And so I was like, yes, everything's okay. So I felt pretty good today and my depression went away and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go. Praise God, praise Jesus. Okay, because I quit caffeine. My mind was at unrest constantly with caffeine. And I don't like caffeine. I do not want any caffeine. Ugh. And so I've been losing weight, but I, but um. So tomorrow morning, I might be like down to like 140. I don't know why it said, oh, because I'm wearing a big shirt. I'm wearing a big shirt that weighs more and I have to use a bathroom. So anyway, I probably have lost six pounds in a few days. I quit caffeine, so I'm going to go. Okay. This is John Birmingham. Okay, bye. Praise God. Praise Jesus. I went from feeling like I may be homeless on the streets and grateful and thankful to God and Jesus that I thought I inherited the kingdom of heaven to God reinstating and letting me know that I have all these earthly things, maybe one of the most successful people or the most successful people of the closest people in my life who I know of family and friends with me and Danica. So that was amazing. And don't covet what other people have. Because you don't know what they've had to go through and stuff. So um, you may have a better life. <laughs> you may have a better life than others. You may like get to feel better and not suffer and stuff like that. So it may be really okay. I haven't been suffering. I've been feeling way better. It feels like everything good is is happening to my life. Or, or it's, things are things good are starting to happen. happen. I don't know. <laughs> it feels pretty good. I feel like Danica likes me. And so I'm going to try to get her and the kids... I'm going to try to get her and the kids to move back. And don't look up to a false idol or think that you want you should be like me or anything like that. I'm not trying to be like a false idol. Uh, be like yourself. The only people you should look up to are God and Jesus to be like really like God and really like Jesus and learn more about God and Jesus, how they really are. And then they'll give you gifts and these amazing things on earth. Instead of like always working at a selfish plan or some stupid selfish plan that we used to have before we really believe in Jesus and God and know that we're supposed to give up our selfish plan and live for God and Jesus and then he makes everything okay. Okay, praise God, praise Jesus. I'm going to go. This is John. Bye. And check out more videos on my channel if you want on God and Jesus or just look up and read the Bible. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Bye.